What's up, YouTube? It's been forever. So, uh, it's 11 o'clock at night, and, uh, did a little cleaning in here in the room. And I figured, you know what? I've been trying to show some stuff off forever. It's been forever since I've done a video. I should probably do something. So, first off, I don't know if you can notice the lights. It's much brighter down here. So, basically, I had LED lights put in. So, two there. And then one over there. One over there. One over there. And one over there. So, now, I have uh, just really good lighting down here, which is great. When I start taking pictures of uh, 2020 babies, not that I have any yet. But when I start taking those pictures, um... These lights are going to be really nice for that. Plus, I can see everything in the room in every corner now. Let's uh, make my forehead look super shiny as well. Well, anyhow, um, what I really wanted to show off, because I haven't done it in forever, are my 2019 holdbacks and a few 2019 pickups. That's this rack right here. So, um, I'm going to show that off. Basically, everything with a green tag is either a holdback or a pickup. Some of them are doing pretty good. Actually, a few of these snakes have been moved up to bigger racks already. Incubator is turned on. I got Woma eggs coming on February 28th. That's when they're due. Uh, I say it like that because I have a Columbian Rainbow Boa that was due on February 10th. And it's February 21st and I still don't have babies yet. But, uh, oh. I don't know if you see how tall this ARS rack is. Got some new racks in. Or new racks coming. That level there is a new level. I'm adding two more levels to this ARS rack here. This area here will be a new ARS 55 series rack. And then I sold those two racks. They're just waiting to get emptied and cleaned for the buyer. Shout out to Roland. And uh, I have a new ARS hatching rack like that one. That's going to go right where those two hatching racks are. So yeah, the room's basically full now. I just got to build these racks and set them up. ARS racks are great, but the hybrid rack you have to build yourself, and it's a lot of work. So uh, let me just start showing these guys off. Um, I did just do a um, cocoa bedding change about two days ago on these guys. So they should be pretty good. But, uh, you know, as Billy always says, sometimes there's poop and pee in there. Sometimes they get stuff in their water bowls. Um, obviously I'll take care of it when I get the chance, but I did not check it right before this video. Alright, so, uh, for the sake of standing here, let me just start showing stuff, see? So this here, let me actually try it this way. Alright, this is a... Hypo, 100% um, het blood with a whole lot of Hog Island influence. That's a whole bag female. I love that tail on this girl. And then I also held back this boy. The water bowls, they get stained by the Repti Chip over time. That's where you see all that in there. Uh, he's not in the best spot to see him, but he is a Hypo blood. He's very cool. But let me just... Move them out a little so we can see them better. Whoop, sorry buddy. Check that snake out. Uh, Alright. Alright, and then my other boa litter, I held back. Oop, there's a poop in there. A IMG jungle. Female here. These are guys came out so nice. Here's another. This is the male I held back. And then this is another female who she's actually my favorite. She's in deep shed right now though. Uh, just focusing. All three of these are IMG jungles. If you follow me on Instagram, that's where I do probably the most posting. And actually everything I post on Instagram goes to um, 
goes to my Osmond awesome Reptiles Facebook as well. Uh, but you should definitely check those out. I do the most. That's the only thing I've really been keeping up to date in all honesty. I've been slacking on YouTube, but I post pretty consistently to my Osmond Reptiles Instagram and Osmond Reptiles Facebook. So definitely if you don't follow me on those two places, check it out. I still do have about 50 babies between what's there and what's there for sale from 2019. But i um, definitely ready for the 2020s to start hitting the ground. All right, this snake here. Sorry, I was being lazy using the stick. So this is a pastel lesser possible super GHI, possible super chocolate. Pretty crazy snake here. It's uh, also a 100% head albino. This is a female. So this was produced from a pastel lesser chocolate GHI bred to a GHI um, chocolate albino. Pretty cool snake right there. Alright. This is... Ooh, this is a nice one. This is a lesser 100% head ghost pos head sunset. Another female. Okay, here we got... This one is a, uh, this is the, what I think, this is the, sorry, the, I have two of them, so I had to see which one this one was. This is the, uh, so this one I think is the lesser, uh, it could be cinnamon or black pastel. It had an eight ball parent, and then it's again possible head sunset. Um, actually, I'm going to show you the sister now. So there, and then her sister, who is a lesser, also possible head sunset so one of them I think is a lesser cinnamon and one of them is a lesser black pastel and then they're both 50% posset sunsets I really think this grow here will prove for sure but I'll find out soon enough and there alright this here that's uh, just a black pastel or a cinnamon Again, mom's an eight ball. Possible head sunset female. I basically held back every possible head sunset female I produced last year. Um, oh, this snake here is cool. So this snake is a female banana. And then I think it's a pinstripe, Mojave, maybe even Enchi. God, I feel like the light is not good. This snake is so cool, but from what I see on this side of the camera, it does not look nearly as cool as it looks in real in person. But yeah, that's oh, it's possible odium also. That's my um. So I have a odium male. So he's a pastel pinstripe, Enchi Mojave odium, and I bred him to a champagne banana female, and that was one of the babies from that clutch that I held back. This boy here, he's pretty cool. So this is uh, actually a sister to the very first one I showed. Sorry, brother. So this is, uh, I believe, to be a GHI Super Chocolate. Maybe pastel. 100% head albino. But love the sides on this guy. Very cool snake. Oh yeah, that's the girl I just showed you. Let's see. Uh, this here this is a black pastel. And it's either a gravel or a specter. So black pastel gravel or black pastel specter female. That I held back. I have a pastel gravel specter male. So all his babies are either gravel or specter. This is uh, one of the Odium babies I held back. So I believe this to be a... Mojave Enchi Odium. This snake is really cool. Hopefully the camera is doing her justice. Uh, this is a Soul Sucker. So a Hidden Gene Woma. Lesser. 100% Heck Clown female. This is a Champagne GHI Enchi, I believe. And actually, some of these holdbacks I still have up on Morph Market. 
they don't sell by a certain size, I'll keep them. But I just put them up. This girl happens to be one that's up. And it's only because I have two others very similar to her. I'll show one of them right now. Here's another. So again, GHI, Champagne. This one I don't think has the Enchi. It's hard to say. They're all possible head ghosts as well. All right, this is another um, animal from that Odium male. So the mother was a cinnamon specter, so I believe this to be a cinnamon. Actually, I have no idea. That's why I held her back. <laughs> it was the pastel pinstripe Mojave Enchi Odium male bred to a cinnamon specter. Yeah, I was one of the babies from it. And I guess while I'm showing you that baby, I'll show you the two other sisters that I held back and I'll come back here's a sister that I held back from that same clutch and then my favorite unfortunately she's in shed is this sister now the oranges uh, come out on the sides I don't know if you can see on that back right there in the video they are so awesome but she is actually my favorite of the three sisters so they're all possible odium and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I held them back, see what I can figure out with them over time. And I'm looking at this clock and how much I still have to show you. And I think there's going to be two parts to this video. All right, where was I? Let's see. So 382. Ah, oh, yeah, this snake is real cool. So I believe this to be a super chocolate. GHI. And I think she's possible head albino. She has some actually interesting missing scales on her head. But she is not a... I actually didn't notice that before. She's not a scaleless head, but she does have some missing scales. It's interesting. I didn't notice that before just now. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I showed her already. Alright, here is a... Uh, this is a GHI Mojave. Oh, nice poop in the back there. Nice fresh one. GHI Mojave. Possible head ghost. Possible head desert ghost. So this is a GHI ghost. I believe to be a GHI chocolate ghost. She's actually another one that's up on Morph Market still. Whoa. This is the uh, Snow Female. Who looks super white on camera, but she actually has some yellow coming in. So I produced three of these. From a double head female to an albino uh, posset. Obviously I proved them out. I held on to a pair. So there's the male. Oop, his head's all dirty. Stay in there. Oop. This is one of my Tinley Park pickups. This is a cool snake. Hopefully I can get it to... Alright, why isn't it focusing? Alright, this is a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Hidden Gene Woma Clown Female. Picked up from Mark Bailey at Tinley Park in October. She's doing well. Can't wait to put some cool stuff to that in the future. So I'm going to actually stop on this next animal because I'm at 14 minutes already. This here is a GHI double head lavender albino pied. So a GHI double head dreamsicle. So that is, and this is another Tinley Park pickup from um, Garrick DeMeyer. So I'm going to actually end part one right there.